So good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us today, tonight. The topic is what would you choose or what do we choose? What do we choose when uh, we are using certain statements that we really get used to in the past that we learned as it's really spiritual or it's reflecting how much spiritual we are or how conscious we are? And um, so, for example, when we would like to create something and it doesn't really show up the way we expected it, or it doesn't show up at all, like when you decide that, okay, let's create money for something, for let's create money for my business, let's create money for a new car, for a house, or let's create money for something I would like to purchase, or just to pay out the debt or just for the rent at month end and it doesn't show up then what do we say usually it's not meant to be and <laughs> what does it really mean it's not meant to be like um like how often do we use these kind of terms um in order to cover an energy that we sense like you already sense what happened with the creation and there is an energy that you decided it's not a good energy or it's an energy that is, it's not just an energy, it's a, it's a combination of, of judgments, your own judgment and so many other people's judgments. So what you sense is something like, what did you buy into about that energy of uh, failure? Like, what did you buy into that um, if you would face that energy or if you would face the judgment of people, then it, it would be unkind to you. And actually, what creates worse? <laughs> the, like, um, all the uh, points of view that we keep using to stop ourselves or all the points of view that we keep using to to cover what we were unwilling to do and be for example with this it's not meant to be or even god doesn't want that or even the universe is not supporting what i wanted so pretty sure my desire was wrong so everywhere we bought into that we are wrong and we are a failure so you destroy and uncreate for all eternity so how many statements how many um, structures of sentences do we use that that we use to cover something cover an energy of failure or cover an energy that we already decided this is failure if you would stay present with that energy it would allow you to have total clarity and it wouldn't be necessary to use certain sentences like this it's actually are you willing to have more consciousness in your life? Are you willing to choose more consciousness? And that's another big question. Are you willing to or are you choosing? <laughs> and if you are choosing, um, like how many times do we say that I was choosing this, but it didn't show up? So there is something wrong with the universe or it's not meant to be. Again, we are getting back to that. It's not meant to be. What would it take to, to step into the energy of who you are, what you are, into the energy of the infinite being of who you are? Like you as an infinite being, you are the continuous expansion. You are the acoustic wave. And if you are staying present, and staying present doesn't mean you are static. It means you are in con continuous change. When you are in continuous change, you are in continuous receiving. You are continuous uh, communion with everyone and everything and with consciousness. So there is no such thing as too much. There is no such thing that you cannot know. There is no such thing that uh, failure Actually, if we talk about failure or being unsuccessful, maybe you've heard that it's just a point of view, but actually what is this about? Um, when you choose something, 
you know um, it has a direction, it has an energy. But were you following the energy of your choice or you were just choosing it once and then you totally forget about it and you were following the energy of your past? Like you went back to the energy that you had before and then you say, okay, I was choosing and nothing showed up. But choosing means not just choosing for a moment, but keep choosing it continuously. So whether it's not meant to be, or there is, this is not the right time for this creation. And also what else do we usually say in order to um, even um, convince ourselves that something is wrong with us or something's wrong with the circumstances? Um, actually, if you were uh, willing to be who you truly be, if you were willing to continuously be that energy, like step up and stay present with the energy that who you truly be, like how many times uh, did you give up on yourself? How many times did you allow anyone else to tell you who you are and how you should act? Like how many times did you stop yourself or pulled back yourself or contracted yourself in order to fit into other people's reality, in order to fit into your family or fit into the whole environment around you? Actually, did it work for you? And how many times did anyone tell you that be the good girl, be the good boy, and follow what we say. And if you are nice, then everyone else will be nice to you. And everywhere you bought into that, there is certain thing like the good and the bad. So there is the evil. And also there are the great angels. And there is a big fight. But as long as you are nice, everything nice will happen to you. And everything that brings up will you destroy and uncreate. What would it take to get out of this delusion or daydreaming and allow all of us to start to be present with what is actually happening? What is the energy of that person? What is the energy of the situation? And what would it take to follow the energy of our own choice? Like, what if we don't have to fix the past? But you just need to stay present with the future that you desire to create and not just energetically create but what are the actions the steps that you that, that this project this future desire requires to actualize so and <laughs> what is required to be actualized what would it take to have um, the capacity to do those actions and also to be that energy, what is required there. And as long as we have a definition of who we are, like I'm a hairdresser or I'm a single mom or I'm, I'm a person who lost the job because of this pandemic. So as long as we have all these definitions, what happens, we keep stepping into that pool of, of the people who are equal to that definition. And as long as you are in that definition, you will function from their energy, you will face their limitations. So, and then we get to the next point of, <laughs> of this uh, spiritual uh, mambo jumbo, which is like, um, we are all equal and we have to really um, wait until everyone else will become conscious. So we together will uh, go further. And if you look around, like how many people around you in your family or at your workplace are like, let's say walking, talking zombies, <laughs> not miracle workers, workers, just like zombies. And as long as you try to fit into the zombie mode, what will you create? the same zombie mode. So what would it take for you to get over this? Like everywhere we bought into that, we have to fit into this reality. We have to match the people around us because as long as we match, we show up 
we show them our loyalty and we have to belong to them. What if you don't have to belong to anyone? Because belonging is the need to accept that they are the source of our life and the source of our creation. So as long as we have this need of belonging, what can you create? Like, would it support your capacity to create something greater? So everywhere where you both into that you are alone and you need to wait for others to step up together, like to go and demonstrate something together because we are much stronger together, but alone we have no power and no capacities. Well, you destroy and uncreate all of that. Like, and if you now just lower your barriers and ask for all the capacities and skills that you have as an infinite being, not as all the definitions that you made yourself equal to, but as the infinite being that you are. Maybe you never asked for this energy or for this quality to show up, but now here is the time just Maybe was there ever anyone who told you that now you can allow yourself to show up energetically, vibrationally, and all the different ways you can show up, to show up as the infinite being you truly be. So if you just stay present with your body and ask your being to show up as the infinite being you are, you can even ask your body, each and every cells and molecules of your body, your whole energetic system of the body, all the multidimensional layers of your body, to start to receive the infinite being you are. And now what are the capacities that can show up in your body? And even if you've never done this or never allowed yourself to show up like that, what if it doesn't really matter? What if the past doesn't have to have uh, power over you? Because you are the only one who can control yourself, your body, and your future. But will you choose that? You can even say, okay, now I'm choosing that from now on, I'm going to be the single source of my life the source of my creation, the source of the future that I would like to create, even the source of the financial reality I would like to and I desire to create. And I'm choosing to be that non-stop, not just for this 10-second increment, but for the next 10 seconds as well. Like I'm choosing to be the infinite being I truly be, even if I never uh, experienced it or if I experienced it so long ago that I don't remember that, it doesn't really matter. I keep choosing that. And what is the energetic change that can show up in my body? And what is the change that can show up in the being that I am? I'm allowing all of that. Because everything that I made comfortable so far to myself, like how many definitions I had, how many different ways I decided I have to uh, stay loyal to the people around me? Did it allow you to change? Did it allow you to create what you desire? So everywhere where it was uh, holding you back from being the infinite being you are, everywhere it was holding you back from showing up in front of others as who you truly be. So will you destroy and uncreate all of that? And you can allow your body to keep changing, keep restructuring, keep letting go all the polarity. So what is the new reality of your body? So all the um, reference points of your body, all the reference points of the bodies you had in previous lifetimes or in other dimensions, Will you destroy and uncreate all that? Everything that you learned, all the logical points of view about bodies and the biology of the body and how the body, how the different organs are functioning, will you destroy and uncreate for all eternity? And everywhere you have 
any kind of reference points or energetic reference points to your body, any kind of illnesses you ever had or any illnesses your family had that you decided you genetically have the same, we destroy and uncreate all that, not just as a being, but also all the implants of these from the body. And how do you feel now in the body? So everything that is changing in the body, everywhere where any symptoms you had in the body that you decided it's pain or it's a really hard moment for the body, we destroy and uncreate all that. Actually, what ease and spaciousness you can have with your body, what new harmony you can find now in this space with your body. And if you don't stop here, actually, um, if you're still sensing your body, like in which many ways it can be um, a contribution to your reality. So how many times did you stop yourself because of all the implants like vibrating in your body, like all the implants of abuse, all the implants of uh, past injuries, all the implants of uh, anything that ever happened to you or anything that you made significant about your choices. And all of these were vibrating those kinds of limitations and, and the message of these limitations. And everywhere where you were not in communion with the body, but you saw the body as something that you are as an infinite being. So everywhere what you were sensing or perceiving, that was the pain, the judgments, the, the vibration of the implants of the body, and you made yourself equal to all these. So everywhere where you implanted like the lack of money, the lack of energy in the body, like being weak or being tired or being less than others. Everywhere where you decided that what you feel in the body is who you are and who you be, will you destroy and uncreate? Actually, what is the different reality you can have if none of this have any effect on you? But you, so it's not about separation between you and your body. It's rather about open your eyes to what happens in your body, like what was implanted into the body that was affecting you as a being that you made yourself equal to, that is actually not who you are. And actually, it's not the reality of your body as well. So everywhere it belongs to someone else or something else or everywhere you decided it's you, but it's actually not you now destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender. Like everywhere we decided that um, when we have a recovery phase in the body, then we have to have more pain, we have to have uh, more uh, problems, more symptoms. What if the body can um, work in a totally different way, not reacting, and also not as we decided or as we learned or as we heard from so many people so many times that when they were healing, they had much more difficulties with their body. What if the healing period doesn't have to have any sensation or any problems to it? What if you can have total ease during the healing and recovery period as well? Like, would you allow your body to have total ease, like all the definitions and programs that was forced on the body, all the lifetimes when you were doomed and uh, cursed by others or even by yourself. Actually, everywhere you decided that maybe you had a great ease with a situation, but then um, someone told you that you are wrong. How dare you have that much ease? This is a situation of hardship when you have to cry, 
when you have to feel sad. So show up as the sad, as sad as you are. And then you implanted this sadness as a, and you, you created this like red button, this push button. So anytime when something similar happens, you automatically shows up and you automatically starts to suffer. So everything it brings up for you, so you destroy and uncreate for all eternity. So everywhere in the world where we are not willing to ask a question, where we decided it, it's too difficult to ask a question. So we rather live from that um, readily created map, like, you know, everywhere where we decided it's difficult to stay present with the energies, will you destroy and uncreate? And I heard it so many times, people said, it's really boring to ask questions and try to figure out something through questions. But imagine that most of the questions what we use is like, you know, light and heavy. Like that's, that's, the, that's the beginning of it. So for example, you have a sensation in the body and you start to ask questions like truth, is this, is this mine? And then truth, does it belong to an entity? Or does it belong to Mother Earth? Or how much of that belongs to someone else? Or is that truly mine? Or what lies did I buy into? Like, is there any, any curse on me or any demons on me? All of these questions are like, yes or no. It's like a binary energy. So imagine that if you had your mother language, which was like um, you would have only two words, like yes or no. How hard would it be to communicate with someone with only these words, in these two words? Like how, how boring it would be to communicate with anyone because this is what happens if you are not um, using to be present with the energies and you only use the light and heavy, questions this way, I understand it is really boring, but it's boring because there is no colors in this communication, no other options, just yes or no. So what would it take to start to sense the differences between energies, the depths of the different energies and vibration? And just one, one step to start to have um, not just more ease with all the energies around you, all the things that are happening in the body. But there is another step because over time you, you can have the capacity and even right now you can have the capacity to have like receive images, voices or the full story about something that is happening in your body or happening in your relationships or happening with your financial reality. So if, if that is too boring, possibly it's too boring because it's binary, and you as a multidimensional uh, infinite being, that is much uh, below your capacities. It's like very, very simple. Not <laughs> it is so simple that it's so boring. So what would it take for you to have totalities with communication, communicating not just by words, not just by simply asking questions, but having the capacity to sense everything immediately and have clarity about everything immediately that shows up, to see the whole picture. Everywhere you decided that in this lifetime, you have to start from scratch. And uh, you don't have capacities because, you know, because of the karma, if you were living a nice life, a good life in the previous lifetime, then you would be gifted. If you were living a bad life, then you have to pay for all of that first. And then you can um, like add more to your life, make it like better. You know, there is like, like a meter or a gauge that is metering uh, or measuring 
whether you did good things or bad things. So everywhere where you have this point of view that you are not allowed to have ease, you are not allowed to have capacities and skills until you fulfilling this gorge, you just run on create all that. What if you don't have to um, um, say, you don't have to be right. You don't have to make happy um, the big god with a gray beard. What if you don't have to be the good son or the good daughter that you can start to ask, you can start to receive, you can start to create and actualize. You can start to be the creator that you truly be without paying for anything that you have done in the past. So everywhere you decided that there is a need to make the balance right, like um, your job is to pay first all your debt of the past and then start to, like after fixing it, you can start to enjoy your life or you can work very hard in order to start to enjoy much later. Maybe really you just try and create all of that. What if you as an infinite being, you are the only one who can give like who can give the right to yourself to change your life. Like every, <clears throat> everywhere where you decided you have to be punished for the past. <clears throat> and everywhere this past is coming after you, like how many lifetimes are you willing to and are you going to pay for your past? What if you don't have to pay for anything that you have ever done in the past? What if you don't have to pay for other people's debt as well? What if everyone has the capacity and the power and the skills if they choose? So they are also allowed to have it. And as long as you take it away from them, it's not going to help them. So just allow them to start to choose. Like everywhere where we are, let's say, um, the good Catholics or the good believers that, that we can pay for the depth of the whole world. So we, you put all the depth on your shoulders, you put it into your body, you have all kinds of diseases and illnesses and hard times. And at the same time, um, actually, do you help on others or does it contribute to the world to create something greater? And everywhere you bought into it that this is your duty, this is your job to put all the burden on your shoulders. We destroy and uncreate all of that. Like, would you allow yourself to start to have more ease and not just more ease, but more fun? and not just more fun, but start to expand out as the infinite being you truly be. Just expand and expand and expand and start to use all the energy and all the skills and capacities you have. And of course, you may have the idea that I have to hold myself back because I have a certain amount of energy granted for this lifetime. And if I would use up all this energy, then I will, you know, drop dead. <laughs> and everything that brings up will you destroy and uncreate. You as an infinite being have access to infinite amounts of energy and all the skills and capacities that you choose to have. So everywhere where you see someone who is happy and having amazing skills and capacities, or simply just they have ease with relationships, they have ease with money, they have ease with their body, and everywhere you come to a conclusion that, oh, pretty sure they have it because, because um, they did something great in previous lifetimes, so they are gifted and granted with all of these gifts. So therefore, you cannot have it unless you will do the same beautiful and great steps in your life. We destroy and uncreate all of that and return back to the sender with consciousness attached, all these points of view, all these conclusions. So when will be the moment for you 
start to choose ease and fun and joy. It's everywhere where you need to be punished for the past, everywhere where you take on punishment because of what have you done in the past, everywhere you decided that or everywhere you were told you are not smart enough to have all the capacities that you can have as an infinite being. So it's better if you give your power over to the leaders and then they can lead your life. They can use that and, uh, and that will be better for you. So everywhere you decided they could uh, be much greater leaders than who you could be for yourself when you destroy and create all that. Everywhere where this was used against you to nicely abuse you and disempower you, will you destroy and uncreate all that too? Like what if the greatest gift and the greatest inspiration for everyone around you, if you start to step up and use your amazing powers and start to show up as the amazing creator you truly be, when you start to create magic 24 seven, like what would be this world if everyone would be inspired and create the future they desire. And of course, the other amazing point of view is that, that we are not allowed to follow our desires because that would be full of selfishness. But are you willing to function as an infinite being in communion? <laughs> because when you are in communion, when you start to function and create from the space of the kingdom of we, then you have total knowing of what can create creator, not just for you, but for everyone involved. Everyone who will be involved in 10, 50, or 500 years time, and everyone who are involved right now, what if you don't have to logically know, but would you choose to have access to your knowing so everywhere where we decided, if I don't know with my logical mind, if I don't see an example, then it cannot exist. We really destroy and uncreate. And everyone who told you that if you didn't learn it, then you cannot know it. We really destroy and uncreate. What if you don't have to learn anything, but you can choose to have all of that information because as an infinite being you are in total communion with the whole universe and you have access to all the consciousness all the energies and all the skills so when will you choose to not just say that i'm an infinite being but be the infinite being that you are allowing your whole body to rise and shine to your whole being to keep expanding and start to create the life that you truly desire. Cool. Um, anyone has any questions or on the lines, any questions? Right. And actually, how do you feel? So if you stay present with the body, what are those energies or vibration or what is the information that is showing up regarding your body or showing up for you as a being? Like, would you allow yourself to let go all the past reference points about who you truly be? Like, Oh, if I'm an infinite being, I should have much more power. I should have much more ease. I should have much more money. I should walk like Jesus on the water, but I don't. Therefore, I'm not an infinite being. You know, what is it that you are functioning from? Are you functioning from the finite being you are? Like all the limitations that you learned lifetime after lifetime? also all the limitations 
in other people around you? Or are you choosing to function as the infinite being you are? With no points of view about who is that, what is that, and what are other people are expecting from you to be and to show up as. Like, what would it take and what would it create if you were walking to your uh, workplace tomorrow, even from here to go to bed or go and have your uh, dinner or lunch? from the space of the infinite being you are. Like what if you allow your body to function from that energy of the infinite being you are? So what contribution it can be to your future creation? Or how would your day show up tomorrow? Even how, how would your night show up? Like where did we buy into that if we go to sleep, we have to switch off because how many times your parents told you or they were expecting you when you were a baby or a child that oh my god please make this child sleep so i can have a rest as well <laughs> because if you are switched off they can have ease <laughs> and everywhere you learned and you became that loyal nice child so when you go to sleep, you switch off as a being because, okay, if your body requires sleep, allow the body to sleep. But you as a being, do you require sleep time? Do you require, do you need to switch off to forget about everything? And everywhere you learn that if I had a problem, I need a night time to let go all of the problems. And tomorrow morning, I will wake up for a new dawn a new day so everywhere you had this daily let's say small death in your life like yesterday is dying and a new day is burning and everywhere it's similar to the lifetime after lifetime that comes to you where you born into this lifetime and you forget about what happened in the previous lifetime you forget about all the things you learned everything you became aware of and you start from scratch again where did you buy into this story or into this program that you have to forget are you choosing to know everything that you have ever become aware of are you choosing to have access to all the knowing that you had in previous lifetimes what could you create what life could you have if you were choosing to have access to all the information, all the consciousness that you ever had as an infinite being, and even beyond that, what if we don't have to limit just to that past 10 or past 100 lifetimes? Like what if you are allowed to go beyond and start to function as the infinite being you are with all that consciousness of the whole universe? accessing all the energy not just the different kinds of energy but that impulsiveness of the total amount of energy and everywhere where you think in this two or three dimensional reality what change could show up if we would go beyond dimensions like what is the information, what are the capacities that could show up if we go beyond the limitations of time and space? And everywhere where you were, uh, like creating a master plan that in this lifetime, I will learn how to meditate. <laughs> Maybe next lifetime, I will learn how to levitate. <laughs> Maybe I need like 100 lifetimes to become fully conscious. Where did you decide that it takes that much time? Are you willing to choose to have access to it right now? What if you can have total ease with accessing everything that you know and being who you truly be? And did you ever ask for ease with all the things that are pulling you back, like all the friends, 
and all the family members who are pulling you back to a much limited reality, what would it take to have ease with them? What would it take to have ease with your workplace, with the people at your workplace? What would it take to have ease with this reality where you have to wear this mask and do all kinds of things that you would never do just in this sort of insane reality? Where did we buy into that we have no power over this reality and we have to wait and wait and wait until the big guys will change it or allow us to have a different kind of life? Are you willing to step up or is here the time and is now the time to step up as the being you are, not waiting for anyone to give back the power to you because no one will give it back to you unless you choose to have it. So everywhere where you gave away and gave up your capacities and your powers, are you willing to take it back and have access to all of it? And not just access, but the consciousness, the knowing, the information about how to use it, how to apply that right now. Okay, so how are we now? Cool. So actually, uh, do we have any questions here? Rocco, I have a question in my chat. Yes, please. So somebody is asking that there is a lot of stories now about Akashic recordings and what is true in all of this. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there are so many names of this. They can call it like Akashic records or morphogenetic field or, or whatever, or, or the ever knowing field, like a field of consciousness or field of all consciousness or all the information. Mm. But what about receiving? Receiving is that what we use when we would like to have access to the Akashic records, or when you would like to have access to all the information about someone else. Like um, you can shake hands with someone and start to download all the information about them. But do you have to? Do you need to shake hands? You can connect to a house and start to sense where are portals, where are demons or entities attached to that house. You can do it from 100 kilometers or from 10,000 kilometers. It's just a choice of choosing to receive. So everywhere we decided and we function from the def definitions of the past that if you would like to and if you need to sense something, you need to touch it, you need to be there physically. Actually, is that the point of view of a limited reality where we only use the five senses of the physical body? So everywhere where, what, where we decided that we are so limited to the five senses of the body, will you destroy and uncreate all that? And are you willing to recognize the capacities of the body and also the capacities of the being you are? And it's not about that Akashic records or morphogenetic field, it doesn't exist. Because it is that there is consciousness everywhere around you. And there are different layers of consciousness and it's just up to you what do you choose like how how deep you go are you willing to see the full picture everywhere you decided there are secrets that you are not allowed to see or know because you wouldn't be able to do anything with these secrets you are not smart enough you are not good enough you are not great enough or maybe even it's not your duty to know these secrets. But everywhere you decided and everywhere you bought into, you are not allowed to have access to secrets, or if you would access to them, 
you would use them or abuse them, will you destroy and uncreate for all eternity? Actually, everywhere where this was a program put on you in order to stop you from sensing what's happening in the background, what's happening with the power that you gave away or that they take away, will you destroy and uncreate all that? So actually, you can choose to have access to all the Akashic records. In some places they call them these uh, palm leaves. So you can uh, read the palm leaves, you can buy them. It's not necessary actually to buy them, but you as an infinite being, you have access to everything. Access to consciousness that's not even from this planet. But will you choose that? Will you allow it to show up? And what's your point of view about how will it show up? And everything of that will you destroy and create? Cool, amazing questions. Thank you so much. Okay. So I'm so grateful for all of you for showing up tonight. And actually, what are these programs that we are functioning from that we keep telling to ourselves in order to, to stop ourselves, in order to uh, stop before we could sense the true energy of who we are and what is that situation? What is the information behind that situation? Because accessing your knowing and having clarity about everything that gives you much more power than uh, anyone else could give you. It's an amazing uh, moment when you start to recognize that you are the one that when you choose, it starts to show up. And you are the one who can create and actualize and change your life. So actually, you are the source of your life and your creation. So I wish uh, every one of you to have ease with your future and creating the future you desire to have. Okay. So thank you so much. And what else can we create now from here and now? And if you have any questions, you can post it under the video or you can post it anywhere you wish. And then what can we create from here on? Cool. And actually what magic can show up in your life from now on? Thank you so much for the amazing translation, ladies. It's so amazing. And wish you all to have a beautiful night. And actually, if that is... Um, whether you believe in any religions or not. And you know, the, <laughs> this weekend is coming on. What new energies or what new possibilities you can open up to? What if it doesn't, we don't have to wait for this weekend to change anything, but we can start it now? Cool. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.